I believe it is uh, the 23rd, <clears throat> around 10.30 more or less, of October. All right. Uh, welcome back to another detailing journal. Uh, today was supposed to be uh, me filming something a little, a little more special than just a journal. Um, unfortunately, things kind of fell through in terms of what's supposed to come into the mail. Uh, so I'm just going to get this out of the way because I really wanted to like uh, rant, I guess. Um, but, you know, that's only because, yeah, th things just fell through. And, you know, um, I, I really rather, you know, do the other project that I have cooking than, you know, <clears throat> do this. But I guess that was the next thing I was going to do, I guess, in case something like that happened. And it did happen. So, yes, this is going to be a detailing journal nonetheless. Uh, I do have stuff to show you, but um, I wanted to get this out of the way out of my chest and uh, it is something relating to um, detail co but I will uh, save that for a little uh, for the later bit because I don't want to like end it on a you know rather sour note so let me just go ahead and say this so um, this is also kind of relating to detail co because I was ordering stuff from the house of rags ever since the debut of the website um, I bought I bought stuff, um, and that was supposed to be filled with all the detail co stuff, which again I'll show you guys later what I exactly got. Um, but uh, there was an incident that very first time with a UPS, and basically uh, they damaged the package apparently, and then um, at this location that was pretty close to me ish and they send it back to um the sender's lo location and uh you know that was the first time i was like okay you know i guess it happened um and then i contacted a um, customer service and um that was um i guess at the time uh eddie was talking and then eddie was like oh yeah um send the email we'll take care of it you know and then um, somebody uh, talked to me through the email, and uh, after that, um, uh, I was resent the items, right, that was in that particular order, uh, which was basically all the detail code stuff that I wanted to get. And uh, right after that, oh, well, right after I made that first order, excuse me, going out of order a little bit, I ordered uh, pan uh pans um clean ceramic spray sealant so you know the you know the whole uh, clean lineup by pandy organizer that whole uh, buzz right <clears throat> which i ex i wish to experience but ups is seems like i don't know man something is going on with ups especially on that particular location where, where um you know they they were receiving all the i guess all the detail code stuff or the house of rags stuff there for whatever reason, and um, the spray sealant also got damaged, so that also got resent. And I tried to contact them, um, and this time the customer service uh, around that time was a mixed bag. So I had a positive, relatively positive experience, and then I had a more of a negative experience. It is what it is. Um, you know, I, I'm not too upset at the customer service. I was just a, just a, just a little frustrated or soured from the sort of response time and um, and how how somebody responded. I'm, I'm not gonna point any fingers of who exactly or whatever, right? But um, not that they gave out a name or anything, but you know, it seemed because it seemed like I was talking to two different people at least. It's, it's, it was very strange because um, I was told that the spray sealant uh, when I first told them that. Uh, I was told that it was going to get sent the next day, but then um, I never got anything. So I asked them again, you know, and then expected a response the following morning. Uh, and then when I did, I, um, I was told, like, 
uh, like, what are you talking about, basically? Like, there, it, it was, it, it, it really seemed like a different person was responding. And um, I had to explain again, uh, basically, what was in the uh, the package or whatever. Um, and uh, and then I was told, like, oh, it was resent back to here. And I was like, yes, I'm aware of that. But what happened to the item that was supposed to be resent? And then that person, was, and then, um, and then it seemed like another person came in and they were like, oh, um, unfortunately the item was uh, it's sold out at the moment. You, you can buy the gallon and we'll pay the difference if you want to or make out the difference or whatever and you just have to pay that amount. Um, so at that point I was just like, hmm, um, you know, it is what it is. So uh, I, I decided to um, uh, opt out and just say like, yeah, I'm just gonna, um, you know, get a refund and take the L for right now. Cause I didn't want the gallon f during the time I could have, but um, there was just some other stuff I'd rather sort of take care of before I get the gallon. And not to mention all that stuff down there. <laughs> so um, on t top of all that, right? So I opted out and just asked for a refund. Now, I haven't, I haven't, uh, Thoroughly, thoroughly looked into it, but I believe I was only gotten, I was only given a partial refund. So I have to make sure like, okay, I get a full refund because I was only refunded the, um, the price of the item of itself, which was, which was the, the clean spray sealant, ceramic spray sealant, but I wasn't refunded the shipping. So I got to look into that and see if there was some mistake on my end or their end, I, I, I'll get to the bottom of that um, as soon as possible. Right now, this whole like House of Rags ordering stuff for me has been a very mixed bag, unfortunately. Um, and then uh, I also went ahead, um, took the opportunity to, um, you know, during the sort of debacle, of the second order, right, which is a spray sealing order, right? Um, you know, I was looking around, I was like doing a little bit of window shopping on that website, you know, House of Rags, and um, I saw that uh, the clean rinseless wash and the clean uh, shampoo were still up, so, you know, the smaller bottles. I was like, oh, you know, you know, um, they're still, they're, uh, they, they were restocked, I guess at some point so I took the opportunity I wanted to take the opportunity to buy those so I went ahead and did that and then so that was shipped out and it was supposed to come today but you know um, you know what this is going unfortunately maybe you know more or less because this also was recent from that exact same location of UPS that particular one and then they just are now resending it back to the sender location. So I'm like very, I'm like starting to get frustrated with this stuff. It's just, it's been, it's been a mixed bag uh, altogether. And I'm not, you know, of course, pointing fingers at House of Rags. That's more on UPS. They've been awful with those packages. Like three, three times now, right? All those three times they've damaged my package. It's very frustrating. and. Um, I'm, I'm like, I feel like l I, I was lucky to even get the detail code stuff that's here right now. <sighs> so I guess I have that going, but it's just so frustrating. It's, I don't know why this is happening. Um, and particularly like this fashion is just, it's confusing. It's frustrating. And it's just annoying to deal with, to say the very least. Um, you know, again, I do not want to point fingers at the house of rags. You know they did they're doing what they can um other than these the partial refund uh i will look into that and hopefully we can get that ironed out uh hopefully again it's like hopefully i, I i'm not misreading that or, or or um hopefully there's no mistake i'll get that sorted out hopefully but other than that the two other orders right the, my experiences with those it's just, it's just also been annoying, right? Um, the damaging and a lot of stuff, the resending back to that lo the center location, it's just been 
like what the fuck like <laughs> you know um there's no, there's just there's just really no other words that i can say other than what i'm of of all um i've already said so for god knows how long i cannot try out the clean lineup from pan the organizer it, that 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 itself is just like okay, come on, man, come on, like UPS kind of got to step up the game, man. This is this is uh, this is frustrating, and it's funny because I work at FedEx, <laughs> so there's a bit of a, a little bit of irony there, a little bit, right? Um, but nonetheless, it is frustrating, annoying, and um, you know, I'm just kind of like left in the dark, like like why why is this happening to me? You know, in this particular fashion, it, it was like on the day of, to, you know, it was just supposed to be today as I record this. And already they've like resent this it. like, oh, God, come on. Third time, too. This is the third, third freaking time. And it's, you know, you know, you know, what I'm going to say <laughs> so. Uh, um, so unfortunately, I have to delay the not only the video project, but me, you know, trying out the clean products, right? The clean lineup of the car detailing products. So, you know, I, I want to experience it, Pan. Uh, I, you know, I don't know if you're watching this. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't try it out right now because UPS decides to be very careless or whatever the hell is going on. You know, whether they're tossing their packages or whatever, the, the packages or... Um, I don't know what is going on, but I don't have my stuff for the most part. Two, two, of the th uh, two out of the three things are not here, and um, I'm, I'm getting fed up with it, like, more and more uh, as it goes by. <clears throat> but I got lucky, I guess, <laughs> and um, I got some stuff from from the detail co lineup of things, which is supposed to be the branding or the um, lineup of products by um, Eddie Cologne and Jamie the Cleaner. So at least I have that. There is a bit of silver lining there, so <clears throat> we can kind of kind of get away from that for right now. But I'm probably gonna bring it up here and there. But so let's start off with the rinses wash. Yes, I do have the rinses wash. 16 ounce. They're all 16 ounces, by the way. Um, I like the brandings thus far. I like the packaging uh, for the most part, although the some of the, um, what do you call, the stickers or whatever are kind of a little roughed up. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what happened there. This is probably from the damaging a little bit. Um, the iron remover and the neutral shampoo are okay, but a little, a little wonky on the label stuff, but that's fine. You know, that's just a little bit of nitpicking, but um, I do like the branding of it. It looks classic. It's, it has that classic feel to it. Uh, maybe the coloring on this one could be a little more contrasting, right? It could use more contrast. Um, but that's just really nitpicking at that point, right? Like this, the, the brown on it could be a little darker, like these parts, like the, the actual letters and this part could be a little darker. But other than that, yes, um, it looks cool, right? And uh, I think I saw the liquid from other videos. And uh, this one's like purple, has like a very creamy look, purple color to it. Um, I will not uh, smell it until I try it out, um, and that will give you a hint of what I'm doing for the, uh, the video project. As you kind of may tell already from the other bottles of rinseless that are on this um, cart here. So, um, but again, I have to delay that video because of the little situation I'm in. But anywho, um, up next, I do have the Detailco um, ceramic spray sealant, at least, called Infinity. Oh yeah, and this is called Nemesis, right? So, and it's funny because 
I have this in here, <laughs> right behind the bottle, the Detail Co. bottles. But uh, let's just keep going with the Detail Co. stuff. Um, I have the Neutral Shampoo. This one's called the Soft Wash, I believe, right? Yes, the Soft Wash. Uh, I like the blue. I'm, I'm a blue type of guy. I really like the blue. Pretty cool. Um, it says to add two to three ounces to your foam cannon, foam level desired, whatever. One cap full for, for the three to five gallons of bucket wash. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm looking forward to <clears throat> trying these two out for the hybrid wash. And then finish it off with... Um, the um or top it off i should say with the spray sealant whereas i have the um iron remover age of iron again the packaging and the branding is pretty cool the coloring is pretty cool so yeah nothing much much else to it um so that is the gist of that um i was really hoping again i was really hoping for the clean at least the two of the clean bottles the clean product bottles to come here but again you know that whole debacle right uh but yes these four bottles are here right nice little lineup i get to have a a good taste of the detail stuff at least so that's uh pretty cool there you know so um, uh, I do want to say congrats though to Eddie Cologne and Jamie the Cleaner for a successful uh, launch, relatively so I guess. Um, it's just that yeah, I'm fortunately I am one of the the uh, ha uh, good handful of people that have experienced similar things. Um, I mean uh, you know I, I don't want to make it sound like I'm the only one, I'm the victim, all oh, you know, but um, other people have been suffering the same or similar sort of situation, unfortunately, with their products as well or their orders right so that's frustrating i'm pretty sure it's ups ups is just i don't know man it's a it's a huge mixed bag at times um it's it's a it's a flip of a coin i guess maybe but nonetheless i do not have my stuff um not all of them especially and that is what is driving me nuts um for the most part now, yes, I have uh, Vince's washer here from DIY Detail, still version two. Been really liking it, you know. Um, that's all I can say. This is still my go-to for right now. We'll see you with the uh, um, Nemesis Rinseless, right? We'll see about that. Uh, funny enough, though, I got two other Rinseless washes, and that'll give you more, more, and more and more of a hint of what I'm gonna do for that. Uh, that one project, right? The, uh, for that one video I wanted to do today, but not happening. But um, I got this in the mail, right? Funny enough. Uh, this is from Amazon. I got the Ethos Hybrid Ceramic Rinseless Wash, which is pretty cool. Um, you can definitely see the liquid right away, so that's um, uh, pretty interesting to see. Of that color and um, looks pretty promising right standard 250, 256 to 1 um, dilution packaging is interesting right this is my first ethos product that I've ordered so um, but funny enough I'm not gonna use this till for like a while from what it looks like. Uh, this is an old friend of mine, in a way, because I bought a, an eight, this is an eight ounce bottle of um, Optimum No Rinse, Wash and Shine, Onar, AK, right? This this is funny enough, my, my first ever uh, Rinseless Wash I ever got. Um, well, not exactly this one, but the gallon bottle is over there, sitting over there. I got that a year ago, pretty much, exactly a year ago, pretty much, and it's, it's just funny, you know, because, yeah, um, I don't want to bust out the gallon bottle for the video because, ah, uh, you know, it's just those little inconsistencies that I wanted to sort of alleviate by getting a small bottle of sorts. So this is the only eight ounce bottle 
that I got for rinse and wash. Um, now what I have here shows that I'm a maniac because uh, I bought myself the 16 ounce bottle of Hero from Armor De Detail Supply. And I'm a maniac because I already have this gallon bottle right here and I still have plenty of it so far. I've used a, uh, a good, uh, uh, what do you call it, a considerable amount here and there, but yeah. Um, but Hero, uh, I do, I, I really do like Hero. It is definitely up there with um, Princess Wash from DIY Detail. So these two are like my t top two thus far. And then, um, uh, th but we'll have to see with the uh, Nemesis here, right? And uh, Pan's um, Princess Wash. So yeah, um, you kind of kind of get a good idea of what I'm going to do with my rinse and washes, right? And I did mention about smell, so put that two together, and yeah. I even got myself a dropper of sorts for the video. And then uh, let me bust, also bust out this, at least one of them anyway. Um, let me try to see if I can like open with one hand. You'll get a good hint, an idea of what I'm trying to do here. All right. And it's definitely from the entertainment value of the video. So I won't show it entirely, but you'll get a good idea. Right. Oh, wow. So, there you go. <laughs> So that's pretty much it on the hint of that. You can kind of put the two together and have a uh, good idea of what I'm going to do for that video. I'm just hoping I can do it uh, relatively soon after um, getting that little debacle resolved, right? I, I really wanted to do it tonight, man. It was like, it was like, it felt like it was lined up for me and then UPS has just had to literally drop the ball, right? Or more like drop the box. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why they keep doing it. It was, it's been three times in a row. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, maybe, may, maybe one criticism I can give to uh, House of Rags, but it's not necessarily their fault. But it's just like, yeah, um, they, they gotta look into someone else to <laughs> ship their product or something, man. But that's yeah, probably not how it works. But whatever, <laughs> you know. Um, Cause man, come on, it's been three times. It's been it's been literally three times in a row. And it's ridiculous. So, anyways, um, there is a couple more things I do want to show um, that I got for myself. Uh, okay, I guess I can show this. So, ta da! Look at this. I made myself a little sprayer of sorts. So, um, this is all entirely made of like uh, blowgun and uh, qu quarter inch MPT parts. So, this has the little quick connect right there, right? And this is a long cast uh, nipple of sorts. Uh, one has a uh, female quarter inch. Um, don't mind. Don't mind these little scratches. That's just, that, that's what I did. Um, one has a quarter inch female thread, and up here is a male thread, uh, quarter inch as well. Thread taping, and then I have a uh, quarter inch corner uh, connector of sorts or coupler. And this right here is a cone tip. 25 degree cone tip, uh, misting tip of sorts. Hopefully it mists. But yeah, um, it's to like get the product across in a comb pattern. Here, let me bring it into the light. Hopefully that shows up a little better. There you go. So I assembled that all together onto this um, blowgun right here that I got for myself. The blowgun itself is like uh, seven, eight bucks about, more or less. This has a um, quarter, uh, let me see. No, no, no. Um, 
I believe this has a uh, quarter inch inlet right here, right? So it receives the quarter inch. This, on the other hand, the tip is a eighth inch MBT inlet. So I'll, um, I was missing a piece. So this was the, so this gun or this setup right here was not assembled in one day. I had to get myself a, a reducer of sorts, an MBT reducer uh, from uh, eighth inch to quarter inch, both male ends, right? That way I can put the um, eighth inch end right here and then the quarter inch right here. And thus I can do the quick connect and that way I can like swivel the, uh, the um, this part right here so this can kind of spin around. This will be my swivel piece because otherwise it'll be a little off. So I have to like spray like this theoretically. So that's why, yeah, it's probably better to spray like this. I wouldn't mind it spraying like that, but it'll probably be weird on my wrist. So that's why I want the options, right? I want to be able to swivel this way or have it maybe a little bit like that, you know, whether uh, depending on what I feel like. And then, yeah, this is just, yeah, otherwise, it's just a glorified um, little spray wand I made myself. Um, the yeah, so the, uh, this is also the same thing. Long cast, quarter uh, quarter inch MPT nipple thing. I know it's a you know funny name, tee hee ha ha, but whatever. That's just what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I tried to um, use a, a hose wrench and um, try to put tape on it to prevent any scratches and I just, that's just what I got. That's what happened. Not too bad. There's no like splinter ends or anything like that or not like those, uh, sharp ends or whatever. Sharp little pokey little um, parts coming out or anything like that. If you know, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, if you look from far away, it, it actually just looks like a, um, a spray wand and that's the whole point. It is on the heavier side because this is all stainless steel. So if you want to compare it to um, my other spray wand that I have, which is this, right? I also had to like kind of Frankenstein this together because this, this came, uh, this wand or whatever, right? The trigger end, trigger handle, excuse me. Uh, did not come with this length of a wand. This is this wand. This uh, this part is different, right? Because otherwise it would be a longer piece. Uh, th this part is also from a different thing, so I uh, ordered this. And then this um, is like the key to be able to um, connect it to the hose for my detail keg. So this is all kind of, again, Frankenstein together. Like that. This one works okay, it's not, not bad. But I wanted to um, show my hand at making my own spray wand. While infinitely heavier, it is still balanced. But yeah, you can kinda, <laughs> kinda tell which one is the heavier end. But maybe, I don't know. Um, maybe if I can get myself an actual swivel piece for a quarter inch MBT swivel part, then this could be a lot more balanced, right? Because it's going forward. But um, I was kind of glad actually to get myself two pieces of the long cast because this one acts like a handle. And yeah, obviously this acts like the um, an extension. Uh, what I could do potentially is to just get rid of this um, and then see, right, if that will do it. But I like I like the fact that it is this long. So we'll see how this feels when I'm actually using it on the car. But it is pretty. It is a uh, it is more on the heavier side. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I decide. But I can probably get rid of this. We'll see. Um, although kind of unfortunate because I that also means I did this for nothing almost. But I can probably send this out, kind of, but it is unfortunate that happened. Whatever, it's not like it's um, 
poking my hand or anything like that, so that's fine-ish. The trigger itself or the this this lever thing feels okay, um, but I do like the thumb control. So like this, as opposed to doing something like this, or some people like to do it like this, right? But personally, I like doing it like this. So, so yep, uh, we'll see about this piece. Maybe we'll get rid of it, I don't know. But that's that. I made myself a little uh, spray wand for the detail keg. I might get rid of that for uh, the, the little extension thing. Long cast, one of them anyway. Other than that, um, I believe that is it. Um, I do have, I mean, I just, I had all the pieces together for the, um, the video project that I was gonna do, but you know, uh, one of those pieces is not here and it's being resent to uh, the sender's location because again, UPS. But at least I got to get something out of it, which was the detail code stuff. So that that is uh, pretty much that. So that's all the major stuff um, that I wanted to get off of my chest. Uh, other than that, there is one last thing I wanted to show you guys before we completely sign off. So let me get, go ahead and get this and talk about it. Speaking of spray guns, this piece was pretty interesting, right? Um, it performed pretty good for what it was. I, um, I actually used this in, a, in the most recent video featuring the, um, the rinseless boost wash, I like to call it, but it's basically an over glorified rinseless spray setup um, using the um, solely the um, water pressure pump motor and my um, water tank that's out there. It's like a, a bar water barrel that's mixed with a rinseless wash. Um, it's, em it's empty right now, obviously, but um, it, that, that, that's a basically like a siphon bucket wash kind of with rinses uh, in it. But is a, it is a motor fed um, siphon, si siphoning system of sorts. It's heavily inspired from the, uh, the, the pump fed setup for mobile detailers. Plus I guess gravity assistance, but yeah. But this spray gun itself worked uh, okay, I would say overall. Good at the very best. What I didn't like about it is that the trigger is way too stiff, right, for, for what it is. Um, it, 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 I started to feel my forearm get some wear. But um, I, I realized what you're supposed to do is hold it to your desired pressure. And then you use this um, screw right here to help you hold this and it'll hold it like that. It'll hold that position for however long you want. And then you um, unscrew it and then, it, and then um, close it like that. But um, this end uh, did not close off, does not close off completely. And it kept the uh, dripping product out because the motor was still going. So yeah. Not the not the most sophisticated device in the world or whatever. Um, yeah, this has this does come with a uh, quarter inch MBT uh, inlet. So I um, have this little converter that I got from a I want to say from a sprayer. Uh, yes, yeah, it was like a misting spray nozzle thing. One of those. In fact, do I have it out like randomly? Uh, yeah. It came from these ones. It came with that uh, converter for the garden hose. So what I did was, yeah, I put this on. This is a silicone ring, don't mind that. Um, it's actually handy for like ripping. 
and then uh, the uh, male connect, quick connect stainless steel. So that is pretty much the setup right here. I, uh, I might use sparingly, sparingly, if that's the word for it, um, as time goes on. But otherwise, I would prefer to just use this. This is like literally the probably probably the the cheapest thing you could do for your not only for your um, your what do you call um, rinseless boost wash or rinseless siphon wash, whatever you want to call it, but also it works very well for the detail keg over there, right? And then uh, I have. I have this little piece to make that possible. So I can go in, in and out of a uh, garden hose set up to a uh, more of a air tool setup, kind of, because um, detail kegs use air tools to spray their products and stuff like that onto the car. So yeah, again, um, this gun is okay. This this gun is definitely main, meant for gardening, right? And more for irrigation. So you're like you're gonna you would use this gun for like a bigger, bigger like uh, backyard. Because otherwise, why would you want to hold this spray for a long time, right? Because you're using you're you're going to mist um, water onto your plants, you know, especially for like tomatoes or vegetable other vegetables, so on and so forth. So this is mainly definitely for um, irrigation stuff. So again, um, I'll probably use this gun just from time to time, but not all the time. So I'll just put that back over there, just like that. And then just use something like this for now. This, this, or possibly this. Hopefully it uh, works pretty well. So that's pretty much it um, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, to an extent. Um, if anyone has experienced the same thing with House of Rags stuff, ordering from them, um, please leave those comments, comments in the section below just to make me feel a little better. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, to share each other's pain, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. But other than that, um, hopefully the House of Rags stuff gets better and better. Because, you know, it's still evolving. It's still, you know, there's still time for it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I still haven't tried the ghost tire sealant. So, sorry, random stuff. Random thoughts. Anyways, um, hopefully I get all the, all the other issues resolved and um, get to the bottom of it and we'll go from there so probably next week i'll get my rinse and washes and do that one video hopefully and then we'll go from there you guys some of you guys may have a pretty solid idea of what i'm doing already so yeah anyways don't forget to hit the like subscribe uh comment down below anything related to this video do uh, it really does help out and I do appreciate it guys so this has been my detailed uh, car detailing journal for uh, October 23rd uh, in, two, <laughs> in 2024 so again uh, hopefully I get the rest of my stuff and um, we'll go from there but upcoming though, uh, I will be using the Detail Co stuff for the hybrid wash. Uh, in fact, I'll be using all these products for the next upcoming wash for my car. So looking forward to the Detail Co stuff. There is something to look forward to at least. And hopefully down the line eventually, I'll get to try out the Pan uh, Organizer clean lineup. <laughs> all right, but for right now, uh, remember to uh, keep it simple and clean or make it simple and clean. I'm trying to work on that still. I'm trying to work on, on like a unique sort of catchphrase when it comes to car detailing stuff. I'm trying to still play around with it. And I do want to say something about like simple and clean. 
keep it simple and clean, maybe, or just simple and clean. I don't know. Maybe you drop that in the comment section below. All right. Thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next one. Shout out.